St. Patrick's Athletic back in European action. It's good to have them back. Let's hope that this is the first of a few hurdles for them to jump. Matches against the Moldovan outfit in the first round. Unfortunately for them, they lost 2-0 at the weekend. As St. Patrick's Athletic go on the attack, Mark Doyle. Doyle has options inside. Doyle still going. Doyle pulls it back. Oh, that's a guilt edge chance missed by Connor. He could have made himself an instant hero. A wonderful opportunity on his European debut, 50 seconds into the game. Great run into the box by Mark Doyle. Welcome cross in, Richmond. and Barry Carter with his left foot. Put it over the bar. Great opportunity for the Saints. He should have done better, really. Has scored once this season. Of course, that was for Shamrock Rovers. But this was set up beautifully after a great run. Doyle to Cotter, and Cotter couldn't keep his shot. O'Reilly, wasn't a bad ball, might still be there for Pat Breslin. Good save by the goalkeeper. The shot tried by O'Reilly, but it was blocked, there was just too many bodies there. The free kick given. St. Patrick's Athletic are creating opportunities. Yeah, absolutely, and Breslin I would have liked to have been in the box sooner. He could have had a, a, one, a free header at the back post. But he, uh, he hesitated getting in, came to it in a, in a hard it's a hard area of the pitch to try and score from there. Keeper makes a good save and the danger's cleared. Not a prolific goal scorer, Breslin. One goal in 45 appearances for Bohemians. Scored one in 27 for Longford. Yet to score for St. Patrick's. Wrong. I don't think I'll ever be a referee. Cole. No, I, I think don't. That's, uh... The thing is, Ocean, I don't <laughs> think... Oh. oh, that's left short. And there's a real chance here for Daku. Daku! It's an absolute soccer punch. And you can't let that happen in European football. Harry Brockbank, he has looked nervous on the ball in, in his opening 25, 26 minutes of the game. And a short back pass has allowed Daku in. He takes it around Anang and from a very tight angle, he manages to slot home. A devastating blow to St. Pat's when they were so comfortable in this opening 30 minutes of the game. Daku's seventh goal for Mora. It's a big one, but it's really, really poor defending from St. Patrick's Athletic. Now, the only positive I can say at the moment is that away goals no longer count for double. This is not good viewing for St. supporters. Absolutely no danger whatsoever. But great centre forward play to anticipate Rock Bank's bad pass. And Daku jumps in and manages to slot home by Anang. Joe Redmond tries to get back, unable to get there. And Pats now need to score. Timmerman's corner. Stands it up. Cotter attacks it. Oh, it just goes wide. I think it was Redmond who got his head on it. So it looked like Cotter was going to get it, but Joe Redmond jumps up above everybody. And a great header. Keeper was just looking at it. Abradovic. He thought it was in himself, but it was a great ball in. You can see Cotter making a great run across. Joe Redmond comes out. Great header, just wide of the post. Keeper goes long. Brockbank, it's a little bit blind, and it might be Coos to get onto it. It is Coos. Coos has support, and Ducker hits it wide. Well, there were Daku, I beg your pardon. He was probing there. Pat's very lucky to get away with that. Very lucky again, Brockbank. Redmond's coming onto it. It has to be Redmond's ball all day. I don't know if, the, if there was lack of communication between the two. But he's facing his own goal. Coos does really well, really well to anticipate the, the bad decision making but from the Pats rear guard. Daku has to do better there. And another throw in one, Kuko clearing it into the crowd. Cotter's overplaying it a little bit. It was a couple of times now he could have played it back to Brockbank a couple of minutes ago and then Chris Forster screaming for it as well. Owen Doyle. Forster! Oh, what a goal! Chris Forrester, he was down injured a couple of minutes ago, but he's made a miraculous recovery and he scored a big European goal for St. Patrick's Athletics. That is absolutely top class finishing from Christopher Forrester Rushin. The ball zipped at him a pace, he controls it with one foot and buries it with his left foot in off the underside of the bar, giving the Mura keeper absolutely no chance. There was always goals in this side, we've seen it from early doors. Mura haven't been able to keep a clean sheet in 14 games. Chances are created. Owen Doyle does brilliantly. Controls it with his right and a marvellous finish with his left foot. What a goal, Christopher Forrester.
Great touch, great finish. And you know it's a good goal with Conan Byrne is full naming him. Christopher Forrester with the equaliser. That's the build from that now. Haktaj was waiting for it, but Gravosti did his duty. More work to do here. And Nang with a fantastic save. Lorbeck. And it's wide, but for a second, just for a second, a lot of people in the ground thought it was in. It's all too easy though, pushing the ball, the throw in goes right into the six yard box. Right over everybody's head. Great layoff by Daku, wonderful save by Anang. And Lorbeck just puts it wide, a let off. But there should be sitting on Daku, there should be a Pats defender sitting on Daku's toes. There wasn't, he was able to lay it off. And a good effort by the substitute, Shaban Haksaj. Brock Bank. Cotter. O'Reilly. Zippy ball to Forrester. That's a really neat turn. Mark Doyle is inside. Breslin's also there. Forrester still going. Forrester! Forrester! Oh, he's unlucky. It would have been probably the greatest goal scored by an Irish player in Europe, or certainly one of them. What a run. Unfortunately, he couldn't just finish. It's a fantastic run again. The way he just dips inside. Morris again goes through here as if the defenders aren't even there. Oh, it's so unlucky. Either side. Lennon. Lennon has tripped it to free kick for St. Patrick's Athletic. Or is it? No, it's not. Shaban Haktaj. Gravosti is waiting for him. As was O'Reilly. Moura have a player down. They will settle for one all. Oh. And a red card for Mark Doyle. The, the assistant referee on the far side was flagging this early as soon as as soon as the defender went down Puko it'd be interesting to see the the replay of this but Mark Doyle is bemused referee had no hesitation obviously talking to his assistant referee well let's have a look Mark Doyle on the far side there you can see a tangle. It's a tangle. It's six and it's, one half yeah. a dozen and the other. There's nothing in that. That's. We'll get another look at that at full time. But from what we can see there, that should not be a red card. Tim Clancy. Well, it's a shocking a, decision. Yeah. It's, it's a similar one to the, the Maddie Smith one up in Derry. He's just pushing him away. There's nothing in that whatsoever. It's a terrible decision by the referee. Is there one last chance here? Oh, Alabe throws himself at it. Breaks for O'Reilly. Chasing after it, Forrester. That's it. St. Pat's have to be happy with the draw. 1-0, the final score against Mora. Conan Byrne, what did you make of it?